Hey folks, Nass here. Uh, we are in Medieval Dynasty, getting ready to start our Season 5 uh, playthrough on the 1.0 full release uh, that has just dropped today. So this is uh, bringing a whole lot of awesome new changes to the game uh, that I'm excited to experience. Um, I don't... I all I know what's coming to the game is what you know is coming to the game. And chances are, by the time this video comes out, uh, you'll already have many hours into the game. <laughs> but anyway, I want to say thank you to Top Blitz and RenderCube. Uh, they gave me some recognition in the game, in the credits. Uh, and I'll put that on the screen here. Uh, in just a second, but they credited me as one of the content creators for the game. Um, I want to say I've got close to 300 videos out for this game uh, since it, st it came out to release in early access last September. So that was awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Top Blitz and uh, RenderCube. Uh, you guys have been doing an awesome job, and I greatly appreciate the recognition. Thank you so very much. Uh, but anyway... Let's get into this new game. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I've got all of my old games, so it's still loaded. Uh, I know people were concerned about whether you were uh, going to be able to play your old saves. And Toplets had put out some instructions on Facebook and Twitter and, and everything about how to play your old save if you wanted to do that. And they explained uh, some of the uh, that there may be some issues with playing the old save. That's why I am changing and doing a new season starting from scratch because I want to experience all of the new stuff that they have to offer. Uh, but if we go to load game real quick, you can see there is all of my old saves. Now, I backed all of these up. So if you do have old saves before you open these, make sure you back them up. Uh, and again, Toplets has put out instructions uh, on Facebook and, and Twitter and on their, I believe, on their Discord page as well. Uh, the announcement, is, I believe, is also on my Discord page under the announcements ta uh, chat channel. Uh, so you can find those most anywhere. They're, they're fairly easy to find. That way, if you wanted to back up or you should back up all of your old saves in case you ever wanted to go back and play those, you can. Uh, and then follow the instructions on doing so that Toplets put out. But we are not playing old saves anymore. We are playing a brand new game. We're going to go in here. We're going to customize this game a little bit. Um, I have been trying to toy around and figure out what I wanted to do in this particular season, uh, this particular series of the game. So I think we're going to keep the difficulty on normal. What are the difficulty? Easy, normal, and hard? Okay, we're, we're just going to keep the d difficulty uh, default. The season length. I I played the last season on five days, and there was a lot of times where I was kind of struggling to get everything done that I wanted to do. And the fact that there are so much stuff that have been added to the game, I, <laughs> I was really thinking about doing a three-day season. But I think I am going to go back and do a five-day season again. Um, and I, I, I think that'll be, probably be fine. We'll just do a five-day season. Um, I, I don't want to miss doing things. I don't want to miss doing quests and stuff like that to gain the reputation. Uh, the building limit in the last uh, series, we did 200%. Uh, we'll do that again. We never did reach that, unfortunately, because of this update that had come out. Uh, we're leaving events on. We're not doing unlimited anything. Uh, we're not doing lack of anything. We're not doing unlimited weight because uh, we're going to experience the game as it sits that way. Uh, now, those options are there. If that's how you like to play the game, by all means, play the game how you like you need to be comfortable don't worry about what anybody else says is, is how the game needs to be played the game needs to be played how you like to play the game so if you want to check those ah check them it's your game <laughs> uh let's see inhabitants food needs water needs wood needs uh we're going to leave all of those default bandits i am going to enable the bandits because i want to experience those uh you do not have to experience the bandits. If you don't like the combat, um, 
then you can turn bandits off. You don't have to you don't have to deal with them. Enemies HP, enemies damage, we're going to leave that default. Poison is on, temperature is on, fast crafting. Oh, this setting allows to speed up the crafting process so that only one crafting loop is required to craft all of the desired items. Oh, now that is pretty cool. So it sounds like if you're going to be crafting a lot of stuff, so a lot of people do a lot of their crafting at the end of the season because it prolongs the season change and you can get thousands of items crafted to sell in the next season. It sounds like this is going to allow you to craft all of those items in one fell swoop. Oh man, I... Yeah, I'm tempted to check that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to leave it unchecked right now. Uh, let's see. XB gain multiplier. Oh, wow. Okay. So you can get further into the game faster, I guess. Technology gain multiplier. Dynasty reputation gain multiplier. Oh, uh, for me, this almost seems like cheating. <laughs> but again, if you want to play the game that way, definitely set these how you want. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just thinking personally for myself. Um, holy cow. I, man, it would be nice to get to a lot of that stuff quicker. Let's... Um, oh, man. What to do? I really like the fast crafting. Maybe what we can do... Can we, can we drag this? Oh my god, you can take that a thousand percent? A thousand percent. That's crazy. I was thinking maybe 200. 200 percent? So you, you just gain XP twice as fast. Not ten times as fast. Technology gain multiplier. Oh yeah, that one's that one could definitely be higher. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's set all of these at two hundred. Dynasty reputation gain multiplier. I don't know that I really ever had a problem with dynasty reputation gain, but if I'm gaining XP and technology and I'm getting to certain things sooner, I might want this up. So we'll do that. XP technology. Fast crafting. I do like that fast crafting. I think that would be beneficial. All right. We're going to do the fast crafting. We're going to, we're going to increase the gain multipliers by 200% just to play with. I don't want it to be so super fast because I have a feeling that this, because I know bandits... You're going to get a notification, at least this is what Toplitz has said uh, in their news updates, is that the bandits, when the bandits are in your game, when they, when they come to your game, because apparently they're not going to be in your game from the very start. Apparently there is a trigger point that you have to reach, and, it's, and they've said that you're going to get an announcement when the bandits have entered your, your, the valley, so to say, because that's, that's where the map takes place is in this valley. So... I have a feeling that with the XP gain multiplier and or the reputation gain multiplier, that means that the bandits will probably come to your game sooner. So <laughs> keep that in mind as well. If you're increasing these multipliers and you have bandits chosen, you may get them sooner. So we're just going to leave those on 200% and... We'll do that, and we've got the building limits at 200%. I'm going to leave the taxes at 100% right now. Um, that way, because I, I don't know if they've changed anything with the taxes in the base game or not. And we've got five-day seasons. So I think we're going to do that. Uh, I'm still unsure about where I even want to settle in the game. <laughs> uh, alrighty, so let's uh, let's click start, and let's get into this. I 
used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Alrighty, folks, here we are starting a new life in Medieval Dynasty. And this, of course, is the same starting area that we've always started in. Uh, you can see the little quest marker. Uh, they put little, what looked like little shards around the exclamation point uh, for that as well to draw even more attention to what you need to be doing next, apparently. So what I'm going to do in this here is start out just like I started with the video that I put out, the, the 2,000 coins first day video. I'm going to be following that kind of thing for my first day to try and make as much coin as I can so I can gather a few items that is going to make my life a little bit easier. Uh, and you can find that in my tips and tricks playlist. I'll try and put a little card on the screen or something. That way you can go and follow that and then maybe come back and watch this video. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to be gathering some sticks and stones. I believe you're going to be gathering 20 stones and 50 sticks. And you can, of course, gather sticks from these little stick bushes here by pressing and holding E. Um, and it tells you up there in the top left corner how many you've got so far, and I've got 17. So I'm going to go grab uh, some of these and craft up some knives, and then we're going to go down to Gustovia uh, and talk to Unigost. There's stone. And stone. Come on. Nope, I don't want the mushroom. I want the stone. There it is. Uh, but let me go and gather these and make at least a, a few... Uh, Knives so I can sell when I get to Gustovia and get some of this money incoming. And I will be back in just a second. Alrighty, folks. I've gathered some sticks and some stones. I've already crafted 11 stone knives already. I tell you what, this group crafting is really nice. Uh, and I suggest actually doing that um, to help you, uh, is, especially on your first day. Because now you can go in, you can craft these stone knives. I've got 10 of them I can craft. So it still shows you the 0 of 10 there in the center of the screen. But when it's done crafting, you've crafted all 10. It's done. You don't have to stand there and wait. So there, this opens up the possibility. And I've unlocked the kitchen already. Oh, wow, the kitchen. That's one of those new buildings. Um, so this opens up the possibility to make even more coin on your first day. I'm gonna grab a few sticks here on the way. Which is great. So let's see here. My weight. So I'm at 18 of 35 on my weight. We've got one stone already in hand. I am actually gonna put I don't need a stone on me, so I may end up selling that for right now. We got apple sticks, 50 coins, and of course our clothes. Okay, good. Still the same stuff we've always started with. I see some stones over here. Now, what you're probably going to want to do is when you're doing your collections, uh, and I do mention this in my 2000 coins and first day video, 
is lower your foliage. You can go into the settings. Come on, pick that up. Oh, it's a broadleaf. There, I'm going to pick both of those up. Do need to pick up some broadleaf. Grab that. Stone. So, 20 stone, 50 sticks. Kind of odd. There we go. Get on the downhill side, you can pick it up. Uh, it's kind of what you want to be picking up. Um, you're going to notice as you're collecting the, the knives, you're going to get encumbered, things like that. Let me grab a few more things here. We'll just craft a couple. Whoops. Nope. Didn't mean to bring my, my knife out. We're going to craft a few more of these before we go into town. And then we're going to talk to Unigost. Uh, after we talk to Unigost, he still gives us a hammer, which is supposed to be our Uncle Jordan's hammer that he used to build um, his house, apparently. So let's head down here. Geese. Sobamir. Oh, this is a new building. Oh, this is that kitchen. Oh, how awesome. What are you cooking there, honey? Adelina, what are you cooking us? Talk? Can we talk to her? Oh, she's a vendor. I think nice she's a vendor. It's nice to meet you too, Adelina. It's nice to actually have voices. Uh, let's see here. Show me your wares. What is she selling? Uh, let's going to sell our stone knives to her. We're going to sell all of them. There's 460 coin plus this last little bit. So 480 coin. So now we're up to 530 coin already. What does she sell? Apples, beetroot, berries. Uh, so it looks like the fruits, pies, meats. Okay, so this is the same stuff as what the tavern vendor quark. Oh, it's a cheese. Oh, how cool. We have cheese in the game now. Rye bread, salted meat, scrambled eggs. A lot of this stuff we had. Wheat bread roll. White bread. Okay, so different types of bread. Flower poppy hop. Okay, cool. Very cool. Have a good day. Oh, that cow sounds like it's dying. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. Stuff you can steal over here, but I wouldn't suggest doing it with uh, the gal sitting there. Oh, there's my bucket I like to take. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go find Unigost. Uh, enough goofing around here. Oh, look at the new tavern. I love it. I, even the sagging roof. I love it. Absolutely love this. This is awesome. I like this. A lot. Good job. Does she now she welcome, stranger? Thank you. Uh let's see. Show me where does she sell the same stuff? Now she's got juices. Okay. Meads. Let me come. Okay, so she's this is she's like the bartender. Okay, good deal. That makes sense. Have a good day. Thank you. I will. Uh, oh, Unigost was in here. Alrighty, so it looks like Unigost has not gotten a new skin. He seems to be wearing the same thing he always wears. So let's get this going. Uh, let's see. Those, those eyes. I, I didn't think I would see them again. One blue is the sky and the other black like a lump of coal. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Are you all right? Uh, you look like you've seen a ghost. Let's see. That's funny. My grandmother used to describe them exactly the same way. Uh, let's see. So let's try one. So, so you aren't one. Good. Uh, for a second there, I thought I would lost it. Ha ha. But your eyes, you look just like him. Sorry, you must have mistaken me for someone uh, I'm new in these parts. Just arrived in the valley, actually. My name is Rasimir. I'm Wanda's son, aren't you? Jordan's nephew. What? Did you know my mother? Not really. I, I knew of her. Uh, we didn't ever actually meet. He wanted to keep his families separate. Uh, I don't think I understand. You will. Wait. What do you mean by did I know her? Is she well? I hope she is now, what, uh, wherever they might be. I've lost both my parents in the war. Damn it, this world, sigh. I guess it can be as cruel as it is beautiful. I am sorry, my boy. 
Nobody should lose their loved ones at such a young age. It's okay. They've died. Uh, they've died so I could live, and I plan to make the best of this life that I can in order to honor their sacrifice. Uh, that's that's very mature of you. I'm sure they would be proud hearing that. You mentioned my uncle Jordan. I actually came here looking for him. Oh, Rasmir, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Your uncle Jordan is no longer with us. He passed away three years ago. I am so sorry. I understand how you must feel. He was a dear friend of mine. So that's it. I'm the only one left. Don't you say that. Hey, look at me. This valley is filled with warm-hearted people who can gladly aid you with whatever you need, and I'm one of them. So what should I do now? You are free to go wherever you like and start a new life. I hereby grant you the permission of the Castilian uh, to build and farm on any un to build and farm on any unutilized land. I got stuck on that word for whatever reason. Uh, in the valley, uh, construct yourself a house and see what comes next for you. You can even build a whole village if you please. There are many travelers passing through. Maybe some of them would like to join your settlement. Just like that, I can take the land free of charge. Well, you'd have to pay taxes to the king annually. But apart from that, that says taxes annually. We typically pay taxes each season. Okay, we'll have to see about that. Uh, let's see. But apart from that, you are free to do as you please, as long as you don't break the laws, the law, of course, uh, or at least don't get caught doing so. Uh, interesting that you would say that, Mr. Unigost. Uh, that sounds amazing. The valley looks beautiful as well. I think I'll stay here and see what fate has in store for me. I'm glad to hear that. You can find resources all over the land. Grab a few rocks and sticks from the ground and craft yourself a simple axe. With it, you can cut down trees and chop them into logs. So then you can create a wood hammer that will be crucial in the building process. I'm sure you'll get, I'm sure you'll get a hang of it. When you build yourself a home, come back to Gustovia and talk to, to my wife. Uh, we're going to call her Deborah, because <laughs> I butcher these names all the time. <laughs> uh, she manages the tavern. Ask her to feed you. Uh, you must be you must be famished and then go grab some beers for both of us and come back. I'll tell you some stories about Jordan. That sounds like a plan to me. All right. So let's see. Collecting resources. Yep. We've, I've already done that. It's pretty simple. We're going to close that. Uh, so a chapter, a new beginning. So let's J to open your active quests, a new beginning. Uh, so the quest actually wants us to go out and craft the stone ax. So let's go. I've already got a couple of sticks on me. Let's go grab some more sticks Five, eight, ten. Q to open the crafting wheel. Go to hand crafting and stone axe. You just left click it once. Click will craft one. If you hit R while the crafting wheel is open, it'll bring up a dialog box or a, a, a counter box where you can choose how many you want to craft. Three cutting. Yes, got it. Uh, let's see. Craft. Okay, so it wants to uh, cut down some trees. We need some straw. And it's actually having us craft the wooden hammer, so it doesn't look like he's going to give us Jordan's hammer. Uh, let's see. Do, how many sticks do I have? I didn't have any sticks. Okay, let's, uh, let's go chop down a tree. Let's see. Do the, let's open the... not the tab. Inventory. Okay, so stone axe is in one. Let's go chop down a tree. These maple trees uh, are supposed to give you the most wood out of them, or the most logs out of them. That's a new animation for the, the tree chopping, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay, good. Pick those up. There. Oh, I picked up a rock. Uh, let's see. F5 is quick save. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's really something that needs to be done, but uh, 
in my last season, I <laughs> I had some run-ins. Uh, let's see, cut trees. We gotta cut five trees. Okay. And it wants us to build a little hammer. Okay, so what we're gonna do, water, yep, I need water. That's fine. So what we're gonna do is I am going to hold off on completing this quest, because I have a feeling, yeah, see, I'm already carrying too much. I have a feeling that this is going to be setting us up for all the materials to build our first house. What this is looking like right now. So I want to be making some coin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to logs and I'm going to hit X. I'm going to hit E to select all of them and F so I can drop them on the ground because I don't want the logs on me right now. And I don't need a hammer on me. And I don't need feathers on me. So I'm going to drop those. I want the sticks and the stones. I'm even going to drop the axe. And yeah, I'm going to drop the axe as well. I'll keep the torch because I might need it when it gets dark. Uh, make sure to highlight the torch and hit F. If it's got the little circle under it, it means it's equipped somewhere. So your torch will be right here. But I'm going to go around. I'm going to collect sticks and stones. I'm going to make some knives. That way I can sell them uh, and make some coin. So I need to get that going. Uh, see how much coin that we can make. And I'm going to collect all of this stuff through the night. And then the next morning, I believe they come out around 6 a.m., uh, and you can interact with vendors and things like that. So I'm going to go and collect sticks and stones and craft stone knives until 6 a.m. Uh, and that's going to get us a good chunk of change started. Uh, and then we will go from there. And we're probably going to go and find the bow, which is going to be over in Tutki. Um, and then find a place to settle down. So I will be back shortly. Alrighty, folks, I come back just real quick. As you can see, it's dark. I'm sorry the screen is dark and everything, but I did have to show you this. So uh, I'm guessing I ended up picking a couple of. Uh, so you can see I'm, I'm getting skill points rather quickly because I increased the XP and stuff. Uh, let's see here. Survival sense. So this here, it shows you that Survival Sense can show you mushrooms, feathers, and herbs in the inspector mode, which is by pressing Alt on the keyboard. But they've also, again, I'm sorry it's dark, but this will show up really good. If you hit the inspector mode, it also shows you stones and sticks that are laying on the ground. It does not show you the stick bushes. So this is a stick bush right in front of me here. It doesn't show you the stick bush, but it does show you the stones and the sticks on the ground. They're green. Uh, the stuff that is yellow is brought up because of the survival sense that I just showed you. So this right here. No, this right here. Uh, the mushrooms, feathers and herbs. Now feathers they can probably remove that because I don't think feathers are just randomly on the ground. Uh, it used to be that when you chop down a tree, you would see feathers fall on the ground. They have since changed that. So when you chop down a tree, you automatically pick up the feather. It's automatically put into your backpack, your inventory. Uh, so that can probably be removed from this text. Um, because as far as I know, unless they've changed something, again, there's a lot of changes in this 1.0. But I literally just saw that because I just happened to push it uh, because I had taken that survival sense. And I wanted to see if any of the new herbs were showing up. And I realized that the stones and stuff are green. <laughs> the stones and the sticks. But anyway, let me finish collecting stuff uh, and I'll be back in just a little bit. Alrighty, folks, uh, we are in the next day now. I have spent the night uh, crafting stone knives and stuff. I, matter of fact, I've still got some on me that I still need to go and sell. I've already sold a little bit this morning. I've already got 2,230 coin. Um, I probably could have had more than that if I wasn't recording and talking and things like that. But anyway, 
There is a cart uh, on the east side of Gustovia. I'll show you where I'm at because you can't hardly see Gustovia. There's Gustovia. Here's where I'm at here. I'll zoom in for you. There's a little... Man, the textures on the map are awesome. Uh, there's a little cart here. And, and there's It's random when it pops up. Uh, as you can see, I've got some skill and technology and stuff going on. But there's some items at this cart. I'm going to see if I can pick everything up here. We've got a bronze axe. And we've got a couple of planks. Good, I'm not encumbered. I don't see anything else. Let's get this stick out of the way. Nope, can't pick up the wheels. These wheels, the the, the cart wheels being busted off the cart. That's a, that's a new addition. I like that. Uh, now, one thing I wanted to see, I needed to pick up some broadleaf plantains before I get too far into the game. Oops, nope, broadleaf plantain. There we go. I'm going to need to pick up more of those for sure. Let me head into town. Let me sell this stuff off. And then we're going to continue this uh, New Beginning chapter quest uh, and see about getting farther into the game. Now, Unigost uh, did not give us a hammer, so we actually have to craft a hammer now. So that is new because the old... Um, the old quest, he used to give you your Uncle Jordan's hammer. So they apparently have removed that, unless they're going to be giving something different. Uh, and again, some of you may have already experienced this. Uh, I'm experiencing this stuff for the first time. So, uh, let's see. All our vendors here. I'll just go to this guy right here, just to get rid of some of my stuff. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Silvermere. Nice to meet you, sir. Alrighty, so we're going to keep one stone knife. That way we have one for skinning. And we are going to drop the 46 knives there. So now, uh, so I've made 3,150 coins, and this was casually gathering stones and sticks uh, throughout the last of the first day and first night uh, until about 6 a.m. is when I started going and selling the items back to the vendors. Uh, so this is already a little over a thousand coins from my 2000 first day video. Uh, and in being able to do this is because when I took, uh, before the game, when I set the, uh, the, the group crafting. So when you go into the crafting wheel and I was crafting the stone knives, you hit R to craft a group of knives. Uh, it crafts them all at once rather than waiting for each one to craft which is nice because I want to say that I've sold over 150 knives uh, through this process. So that is that is a really good feature. I like that a lot. That's going to help a ton in making coins and being able to do different settings in the game. Alrighty, so we've got 3,150 coins. We need to start completing some of these quests. Oh, I didn't mean to step on the little child there. Sorry, buddy. Kind of blend it in with the ground. Looking at those barrels. Uh, oh, I didn't even sell him the stuff that I got from... Are you a vendor? No, Unigost is not a vendor. Uh, here. Not used to this little hut being here, but she's a vendor. Hail, friend. I don't think I sold the planks and stuff, did I? Yeah, let's see, there's the planks. Matter of fact... Oh, man, I think I'm going to keep the planks, actually. Uh, let's see. What buildings do I have available to me? Let's let's do that because I had a lot of buildings available to me. What? No, thank you. Get, uh, out. Get out. Seven. Have there a we good go. day. Okay. Pushing wrong buttons because that never happens. Uh, let's go back into here. Let's go into skills. So I've taken several skills already, and let's go over that. Uh, and I've already got another point in survival skills. So I've taken three of three in survival knowledge for the uh, experience gained for survival activities which pairs nicely with the 200% experience gain anyway. Uh, let's see, I took survival sense, so to see mushrooms, feathers, and herbs. Uh, we talked about that just a minute ago. I took survivalist, which I'm going to take a point in this again to max that out. So 30% slower loss of food and water. Now, overnight, I drank when I needed to, but I didn't eat. I didn't eat my first bite because... We'll go into the inventory. You get uh, dried meat, you get apple, and then rolled oat. 
Uh, you get two of the rolled oats, you get 20 dried meat, and I think you get five apples. Uh, so I ate all five of my apples, and then I ate 14 dried meat because my hunger had dropped way down to like 20 because I have a tendency to let my hunger get way down before I eat. Why? Just because I don't want to take the time all the time to eat. Uh, I let it get way down, and then I make use of whatever food that I've got on me. So I made it until uh, it was after midnight, I think, when in game when I finally ate my first bite. Uh, so just to kind of give new players an idea of how fast the hunger and stuff drops, and that was before I even took the survivalist skill. Right there, that was before I even took the survivalist skill. So this is a very beneficial skill to have. Take it. Uh, I recommend it highly. Uh, let's see. What else we got? We got three points here in crafting. Of course, I take the three crafting knowledge. Uh, what is handyman? Oh, that's upgrading the house. I'm not worried about that right now. Builder. Durability to loss of hammer. Okay. Not. Okay. We're going to go with handyman because we have to take a point to advance into these next ones. So we'll take handyman. And then... Um, I'm not going to worry about crafting, sewing, or cooking expert. Faster crafting? No, because I took the thing to where I can craft a group at once. I'm not even worried about that. Uh, builder, slower durability, loss of hammers. That is definitely going to be good uh, to have. So I think cooking knowledge. Yeah, we're going to take one in building because we're getting ready to build. Matter of fact, I'll take both points in builder. There. There we go. So now we get 50% slower durability to loss on hammers. We're going to be doing some building. Now, uh, let's see. Buildings that are available to us. We got the Hunting Lodge 1 and the Herbalist Hut unlocked already. So with the Herbalist Hut, we get all these different potions and everything, which you can see in the game. I'm not going to go over these because they're all new to me. Uh, we'll be going through these during the season, uh, the series as well. Uh, farming technology, I haven't done anything. You can see here product technology. I've got all the way down to the sewing hut one. Uh, the smithy one is, let's see, because I think, yeah, you can craft copper bolts and stuff. Um, I'm seeing if there's too much of change. Wooden vial, okay, so that's going to be for the potions. The kitchen, okay, okay, good. Work? What does that require? Bucket of soured milk. Okay, something else to, to explore. How do we get soured milk? Obviously, I'm thinking maybe milking cows and then let it sit out like you do food for rot. Okay, sewing hut. Doesn't look like anything's really changed in the sewing hut from first glance. Workshop 2 is going to be the next thing we get. Okay, mugs, clay. Okay, good, 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 good. The, the smithy is what I want to want to get up because I believe the smithy allows us to craft the wooden crossbow bolt and bolts. More, more so the bolts. This right here, wooden bolt. Um, because I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and steal the... That was weird. It sounded like a, a table saw behind me. He needs to pick up that wheel. I would, but uh, I don't want to get uh, blamed for stealing it. <laughs> okay, so now, let's see. Chapter 1, A New Beginning. Uh, we need to craft a hammer. Uh, we need to cut down five trees. We need to collect straw. So, I'm going to pick up my little stuff here. Um, oh, yeah. I wanted to see. I, picked up, I accidentally picked up a chicory. I was curious if it sells for anything. Does it? Let's just see. Does it give me a value in here? Wait. Uh, oh, yeah, it's going to be nothing. It's going to sell for practically nothing. Okay, no worries. And the logs are going to encumber me? No. So we need to pick a location to build. And kind of what I was thinking is I want to be near a mine because I want to get into the copper and stuff fairly quickly. And the mine over here between, or excuse me, the cave, not the mine. The cave between Baranica and Baranica and Branica is probably going to be the easiest place to set up. 
Uh, and then I can build like a, like I did in the last series, I can build my blacksmith and wood cutting and excavation. And this will be that particular area, my excavation area. Uh, and then I'll probably do outpost villages like I did in the last series as well. Uh, and, and maybe choose different locations for those. Like we were over in Hornica, which was a big problem area, chopping down trees. Uh, I don't know if they've addressed that or not. I'll have to look through all the patch notes and stuff to see if they did address that. Uh, because I was shot by wood snipers <laughs> and launched into the air, uh, you know, for uh, fun times. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe having my fishing village, maybe over here, uh, possibly even over by Jezrika because it's already kind of a fishing village anyway. Uh, but those are, oh, those are little things that I'm thinking about. Uh, maybe leave in the comments below uh, where you'd like to see me build outposts and what type of outpost it should be. Uh, whether it's going to be, you know, hunting or fishing or, or whether you want them combined or whatever like that. Leave me those comments in, in, in below and, and tell me what you think and, and your ideas and things like that. But I think that we are going to head over this direction uh, and set up. I'm going to set up literally right outside this cave uh, because that's going to make getting stone and stuff like that. And I'm going to put a resource storage there anyway. Uh, and I can just have a, a little house or something right there. Very basic. And then for farming and stuff like that, uh, I can probably come down into this area here for farming. Uh, I'm not sure how close I can get to Baranica or anything like that, but I want to get want to get farms going as well. And before the season end, I'm going to pick berries to get fertilizer. Uh, that way we can just buy seed. Uh, when we first start out, sorry, there was somebody drove by in a really loud motorcycle or something. I, hopefully that didn't come out on the video. Uh, but anyway, let me head over uh, to where we're going to build our first house. And I will see you folks in just a second. Alrighty, folks, uh, we're over here at the cave between uh, Branica and Baranica. Uh, that way, this is where we're going to be setting up our first couple of buildings and uh, getting started. That way we can start mining for copper and things. we got stone pickaxe here. We've got iron ore. we got tin ore in this little uh, barrel right there, uh, which I believe the barrel is a random spawn. Uh, as you can see for the chapter quest up there in the top right, I've already chopped down my five trees. Matter of fact, I, I chopped what left here dropped my logs um, and then of course I made my hammer which I'm not even sure that I have it equipped yet which I probably should want the hammer in two we're gonna put these spears in three let me go uh, grab some straw you know what I need to do let's go do this before I go grab the straw I'm gonna grab all of these broadleaf plantains since they're right here in a cluster There we go. 20 broadleaf on me. That should be good. Don't forget to F5 when you're messing with wood. It does not want me walking over that at all. Uh, let's head over to uh, Tukey. And let's go ahead and grab that bow. The um, stone arrows and leather that is over there. That way we have that done. And there might be reeds by the water over there. I'll have to take a look. If not, I'll run down uh, near the bridge behind me and grab some over there. Righty, here we are at the little uh, tool shed or hunting hut or whatever this is called. Wow, look at there. They've added a bunch of new stuff inside here. Bird traps, rabbit traps... Of those rat traps, I think. Can't use any of these benches or anything. I don't think anybody's going to see us, but we're going to F5 just in case. Get that there. Grab that. We're grab all of those arrows and that leather. Now the leather... Oops, let's go into the crafting wheel. The leather can be crafted into a simple bag. 
which we're going to head, going ahead and do that now, and we'll use that when we plant our first seeds. Hey, buddy, nothing to see you. How come you look like Unigost? Maybe it's because you're just dressed like him. Uh, oh, he's a vendor. Ah, you have returned. Yes, I have. Not sure how he knew me before I got over here. Uh, okay, so he actually sells bows. That's good to know. Long bow, the recurve bow, stone knife, spear, water skin. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, good deal. Do I have anything to sell? I don't think I'm going to sell that bronze axe. I'm going to be doing a lot of wood chopping anyway. I'm going to keep the stone axe, uh, the stone arrows. I'll use those. Now, they're red right now. Once you use them, they should no longer be red. I think I'm going to keep everything on me. Take That'll be fine. Care. When we get back over to um, Branica, then I can buy backpacks with what I the, the money that I made over in Gustovia. Doesn't look like there's any reeds down here. Is there anything to find along the shoreline? Any goodies? Here. Oh, look. Wait a minute. I see something over on this island. Oh, I need to drink. I know. Somebody's probably yelling at me. Drink! There you go. I drank. What is this? Oh, wow. It's a chest just out in the random. Like somebody was going to bury it and then forgot or something. Like that shovel. Thank you. What's in this chest? Uh, oh, a potion of health, two potions of health, a good torch, an upgraded torch, a uh, hop, and, oh my god, what is it, 300 coin? Heck yeah, I'll take 300 coin. Shoot. <laughs> There's still coin in there? Did I not pick it all up? Uh, e. Make sure I pick it all up. There we go. That was awesome. Frick. So there's a chest there. Now, okay. If, if this is not a random spawn chest, theoretically, you could use it for storage. <laughs> so like if you're going to build a house over here or something, but before you use it for storage, I would make sure that that does not disappear. Because I would hate for you to put your stuff in there and it disappears at, at season change or whatnot. All right, let me go down and get some straw. And I think we're going to continue this in the next episode. I appreciate you guys joining me for this. Um, this is so exciting. Uh, it's <laughs> literally just looking around for everything to try and experience so much. I'm trying to share so much with you guys uh, on this first episode. But we have many episodes ahead of us. Uh, so anyway, uh, is this going to be some reeds down here? Ah, yes, there they are. Yes, reeds. I'll show you real quick where I'm at. That way you can see uh, there are reeds by the uh, bridge just south of Tutki. But anyway, folks, I appreciate you guys joining me for this. Uh, if you like the videos that you're seeing, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And let me get you out of this bush. That's no fun to look at. Uh, and join me for the next one. Uh, you folks take care and happy hunting.